The purpose of these video clips is to clarify the simplicity of electronics. Today's video clip is section 10.5, Electronic Manufacturing SMT Machines. We'll start with the description. Mounting SMT components on a PCB is a multi-step process. The first step is the solder paste dispenser. This is followed by an SMT robotic machine and then a reflow oven. The SMT machine's end result is SMT components soldered to a PCB. We'll start with a solder paste dispenser. First, there is a solder paste stencil, which is approximately the same size as the PCB. The solder paste stencil has holes. These holes are aligned with the SMT component pads on the PCB. Commonly, the holes are rectangular in shape. The solder paste stencil thickness determines the amount of solder placed on the component pads. The solder paste dispenser wipes solder paste across the solder paste stencil. The solder paste is comprised of small balls of solder alloy and flux. This solder paste covers the SMT component pads. It is important to use fresh solder paste. Solder paste exposed to air dries, which can result in solder gaps on the PCB component pads. The number one PCB assembly failure is inadequate solder. Keeping solder paste refrigerated until used reduces dry solder paste. The end result is solder paste on SMT component pads. There are new direct solder paste print machines. However, they are used only when they are cost effective. We'll continue with the SMT robotic machine. The SMT robotic machine places SMT components on the PCB. Precision is necessary. The SMT components must be placed in precise locations on the PCB. There are fiducials, which are small dot copper foils on the PCB corners. The robotic machine requires fiducials. This is to have accurate placement. The SMT components, commonly on reels or tubes, are mounted on the robotic machines. The robotic machine selects the correct reel and tube components. It will place the components in the correct location and in the correct orientation. It's possible that it may apply glue to some components for potential wave solder station requirements. The logs created include PCB revision number, assembly date, and SMT reel slash tube labels which identify the component companies, lot numbers, and dates. The end result, SMT components mounted on pads covered with solder paste. And now the reflow oven. The PCB assembly is placed on the reflow oven conveyor belt. The reflow oven melts the solder paste, then cools the solder. The oven uses a thermal profile. Ramp up to soak, preheat, ramp up to peak, reflow which melts the solder paste, and ramp down to cool. The end result is SMT components soldered to the PCB. We'll conclude with a double-sided PCB assembly. When SMT components are on both sides of the PCB, the assembly is rerun through the robotic machine upside down, and then it is run through the reflow oven. The components on the opposite side of the PCB assembly do not fall off because the remelted solder surface tension on the bottom side keeps the components in place. This concludes section 10.5, Electronic Manufacturing SMT Machines.